Hello my friends, welcome to my YouTube channel, my name is Artem Voronov, I'm a lighting designer and Dialog Sivo certified uh, trainer. In this video I'm going to show you uh, how to make uh, design, uh, lighting design for a small interior. And here we have a conception, a basic conception, uh, which uh, my client sent to me. And this is without lighting design. And this is lighting conception with uh, lighting design. Here I use uh, two uh, architectural lighting techniques. Uh, and I'm going to show you today how to make it in Dialuxible. First, let's start uh, with uh, analyzing of uh, this uh, conception. Uh, this conception is uh, extremely poor and moreover we don't have uh, enough illumination here. So uh, this is quite easy conception. If I switch on false colors, so I have here uh, like barely I have uh, like 50, 50 lux. After analyzing this conception, uh, we decided to propose some uh, solutions uh, to make this uh, lighting to be more comfortable for a client. Okay, uh, so uh, first of all, let's start. So first of all, let's start uh, with these uh, wooden beams. And here we have three uh, beams. When I was on site, uh, it looks like this. I think it's uh, cross timber wood material for this house. First, I decided to put some uh, track lighting on these beams. Now I'm going to the top view here and I'm going to the furniture and objects and then drag and drop cube here. So here I'm going to put the size of my uh, mini track. So it will be like mm, 0 0.014 and the height will be also 0 0.014. I'm going to make this five meter long, even six meter. I'm going to snap it to my beam and then I'm going to the copy and arrange center in this area and then I'm going to snap it to this beam okay right here I'm going to the materials and I'm going to select this material and I want to make it black and then drag and drop it so now I have a black uh, track then I select this track and I'm going to my side view uh, click on move and then snap it to my beam here. This is 9 watt luminar. So this this is quite small. It's about 9 centimeter long. And then I'm going to this uh, uh, 36 uh, degree 9 watt. Okay. And then drag and drop it to the dialux. Okay. And then I delete it. Go to my uh, top view and then I go to draw line arrangement tool. Uh, click on the first point, then click on the second point, and then let's put here about uh, four or five luminars. I put here uh, five luminars, but in any time we can uh, change the number of our luminars here. Okay, and then I'm going to top view, and then I'm going to drag and drop it, but I'm going to snap it right in this position, and then I'm going to select my track. And look at this, so I'm making this conception, so I'm going to make it invisible from this side. You see, so here you will have, you will not see this luminar at all. So you will, will not have glaring effect uh, in the final project, in the final uh, realization. And then I'm going to copy and paste this uh, track uh, on all beams. First I'm going to copy and paste my track. Here we have uh, copies of my uh, track on my beams and then I'm going to select my track lighting and Ctrl C Ctrl V all the rest of the track lights. But before it I'm going to uh, rotate it uh, just for about 20 degrees here and for 20 degrees here and now then I'm going to select these two line arrangements and copy this arrangement for the rest of my beams. 
finally we have these tracks so I'm going to put the, all the links of these luminaires uh, in the telegram uh, channel of our international light and design uh, community so you can go to this telegram community and download it uh, and you can use the same luminaires as, as me in your uh, project okay we have uh, these uh, final light and design but look at this we have uh, three beams and I want to have uh, indirect lighting with it so I'm gonna use a LED strip for it I would like to use this uh, warm uh, light 3000 Kelvin LED strip with uh, almost 15 watt per meter I'm downloading this uh, photometric file and then I drag and drop it to the uh, to my dial receiver and then I'm going to the top view delete my uh, LED strip and then I draw line arrangement from the um, uh, start of my beam to the end of my beam okay and here I am going to this placement according to distance and select luminar distance uh, like uh, one luminar size let's uh, drag uh, this point slightly here and this point slightly here and I want to be sure that this uh, this I have for minus 90 degrees okay uh, well uh, we're going to this we're going to copy and arrange a folder and then click to the center in the area and then drag it to my beam my first beam here and going to the side view click uh, to the screen and then select my show light distribution curves move it uh, right on my beam and then rotate it in the final realization file I'm going to put this uh, LED strip into the aluminum profile and then I will have uh, opal screen which reduces my uh, luminous flux uh, by 40% and I multiply this uh, uh, 1120 lumen uh, by 0 0.6 and we ha I have uh, 672 lumina 672 lumina here uh, select here LED apply and going to the top view and then I'm going to copy and paste on the other beams okay uh, let's go to the 3d view and click on calculation button and here it is this is our, our final uh, conception we have a lux level be between uh, 200 and 500 uh, lux and this is quite comfortable especially for this climate zone uh, for what we make in this uh, light and design conception and it's going to be very nice with this wood so maybe you can use uh, with the um, uh, wooden materials you can use 2700 uh, kelvin but for me this is nice if i use 3000 kelvin uh, here give a thumbs up subscribe to my channel uh, subscribe in our telegram uh, light and design community, use a dialogue receiver, sell more professional luminaires, work, uh, work with uh, interesting uh, clients and be more professional guys. See you in the next uh, video.